face paint where did that come from what inspired you to start doing that because in the early days we never seen that like yeah you were with regime and all that oh what yeah inspired the face paint well the regime you never saw my face you just heard my voice that's right you know that's what i'm right. saying but my face paint started in 1994 you know what i'm saying in before kansas city that. yeah yeah oh, way before shit. that you know what i'm saying it was a myth in kansas city about uh a guy named the killer clown who was supposed to terrorize children at schools but it was a myth okay. it was a myth and we were all scared as kids like killer clown drives a yellow van and we got to watch out for all the yellow vans so whenever yellow vans we'd run you know what i'm saying we had a guy that lived on our block named glenn lived down the block right by the woods you know what i'm saying and i'm like he has a yellow van glenn's the killer clown he was not though okay. you know what i'm saying it did not exist we didn't know that as kids so as you know i i feared clowns as a kid so when my mom took me to Ringling Brothers, brought them in Bailey Circus and all that kind of shit, you know, the uh, Ararat Shrine Circus, I uh, always was fearful of the clowns because they had on painted smiles. Mm. You don't know if it was malicious intent. This is me thinking as a kid. I don't know what they really thinking. They got on white gloves, shaking your hand on hard. It scared the hell out of me. As I got older, I took the theme of the killer clown, the myth of the killer clown, because it was, uh, it was, uh, it was mysterious, and the mystique of it made me want to become what I feared, the killer clown, lyrically. So I used to paint my face because chicks always say, oh, Aaron is so cute, Aaron is so cute. They wouldn't listen to me. So I hid my face so they listened to my music. You know what I mean? So I, the guy who was painting my face, Brian Breezel Dennis, my best friend, he got killed to a crime of passion. Him and his girlfriend got killed by her ex-husband, and then ex-husband killed himself, you know. I wear it. In, in, in memory of my best friend, Brian Beasel Dennis. Now, over the years, uh, my face painters would fall off, you know what I'm saying? So I got this metal band um, named Slipknot to help me take my face paint and turn it into a silicone mask. We noticed that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I still get to wear the paint and be the clown in memory, in love and memory of Brian Beasel Dennis. That's right. That's yeah, so it's a whole story. But when I was doing the regime, everybody, they thought I was from the Bay. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I just moved out to L.A. to uh, start doing music with QD3, and that's how I met Yuckmouth. And then we started the regime. I was first infantry, you know what I'm saying, with me, Gonzo, Fast Barcelini, uh, you know, uh, uh, Papa LQ and Max, you know what I'm saying? It was like we were all, like, the first dudes, and uh, it just expanded. But they was hearing my voice. I've been to Kill a Clown, kill a clown through all that, Ask Yuck. And they used to laugh at me, you know, so when we was in uh, New Zealand uh -huh. with, with the red spiked hair and the, yeah. and the face paint and the bishop's robe. I was, back then, with Yuck, I was mm. still the killer clown.